Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. I'm back. <laughs> I am back. Uh, it is January 2nd today and I, I think I have been off for, I want to say two weeks. And uh, the reason being is because I had all my kids at home and um, and we just had a spectacular um, holiday vacation um, here at the farm and um, everybody's gone back to work and um, you know I'm actually believe it or not you guys I am home alone right now. I am in the cottage alone right now. Well, aside from, you know, a whole lot of dogs. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually um, have the cottage to myself. And you know what? It is so blissful. It is so blissful. I mean, I loved my Christmas. It was big and noisy and chaotic. Um, but just wonderful. It was just wonderful. Now you guys know I have three dogs and, um, and my, um, oldest daughter also has a dog. My mom has a dog and we have a brand new kitten, um, that we got back in November, um, here at the cottage. So Christmas was... <laughs> Five dogs and a kitten <laughs> running under my feet while I was, you know, cooking a holiday meal and um, Christmas morning, <laughs> you know, the kitten was in all the boxes and oh gosh, we got some adorable pictures. She was so adorable, but naughty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was, a, it was a crazy, chaotic, noisy Christmas. I loved every minute of it and Hallelujah for maturity, um, because I found in my 50s, I am so much more relaxed about, you know, if the table linen is perfect, um, you know, or if there's wrap on the floor, you know, I just don't care. I just savor, savor it all because, um, you know, I'm, I'm long past those days where I, I'm so worried about you know, the candles matching the tablecloth perfectly. Mind you, I did go with all white this year, so I guess I still have a tad, tad bit of OCD when it comes to that kind of stuff. But anyway, I find in my 50s, I tend to savor the moment instead of stressing out about dogs, you know, making a mess. And anyway, I'm hoping and praying all of you also had a lovely holiday, you know, whatever you choose to um, celebrate or if you just, you know, chilled at home and, and had, had some nice food and some, some relaxing time. Anyway, um, I'm back and, um, oh, and happy new year. I completely forgot to say that. Happy new year. <laughs> we are starting with a beautiful, crisp, fresh new year. And oh my goodness gracious, I love a brand new fresh start to things. I'm not a, a big, um, <laughs> don't mind Layla, she's just making herself comfortable. <laughs> and um, for those of you who have not met her, um, I have Esme with me today. And Esme, Esme is my replica baby of the Tobias Gulp by Lordly Eagles. And um, she just wanted to hang out with me while I, I've got some goodies to open. Um, that I just have received. Uh, one is a late oh, a Christmas gift um, for myself. And actually the other one is a late Christmas gift for my mom. But that's a whole other story. And I will tell you that while I open it. Anyway, I have some huge changes happening, you guys. Huge changes here in the nursery. Um, so... Um, well, <laughs> where do I even start? They're so huge. So over um, the Christmas holiday, my husband and myself, um, we adopted. 
Um, now, you know, before you get like, oh my gosh, Julie, are you kidding me? Um, that's a big thing at your age. Um, I am referring to reborns. Uh, but, um, for my channel, um, this is going to be a real adoption. So these babies, um, that you have met, cause I have been fostering them for a couple of months now. Um, you've briefly met them. Um, we are officially adopting them. Um, and they are going to be, um, Basically, they're going to be my my children, my um, living, breathing children, and I will be treating them as such. So basically, what I'm trying to get at is um, over the holiday, I made the decision to start um, doing a role play channel. Um, and I don't mean, you know, all the time. I mean, I, I want to share my other babies as well. I want to share my... Ashton Drake dolls with you, you know, I want to share my, um, you know, my, uh, silicone babies with you. Sorry, it's getting late. My brain's getting, getting tired. Um, but, uh, probably half of my channel is going to be, um, role playing with these babies as, you know, real live adopted, um, infants. And I will be treating them as such, you know, I will be taking you to Walmart with me this week and we'll be getting formula and diapers and um, a thermometer and and Tylenol and baby powder and all the stuff that you need um, to care for, you know, living, breathing infants. And, um, and I'm going to be caring for them on my channel and, you know, I'm going to be taking them out for walks around the farm and taking them shopping with me and um yeah i'm going to be doing a lot of um of role play because it's something that i have always kind of had an interest in but i i didn't really know how to go about it and the way my nursery was set up it wasn't really conducive to highlight just two babies um so <laughs> That leads me to my next thing. I have done a full um, reconfiguration of the nursery, nursery to create um, a little, you know, kind of a, I don't know whether you call it a nook or, um, you know, a bedroom for these special babies that are going to be um, my adopted children. Babies. They're not children. They're babies. So... Um, it is evening here at the farm. Um, it's pitch dark outside. Um, I still have to go out and shut uh, the barns up for the night. Um, but I thought I would just show you. Now the babies in question are sleeping. Um, and I have draped their um, bassinets or their Moses baskets with a muslin because um, I didn't want the light to bother them. I've got a candle going and I've got the bedside table on and um, they are sleeping. But you will be meeting them um, in the next few days. You'll be meeting the babies and we'll be talking about, you know, the type of care that... I will be providing for them and the, and I'll be taking you to Walmart to purchase all the, you know, the goodies. And I ask you, um, my dear Dolly friends, with, from the bottom of my heart, um, this is something that I have considered in the, um, oh gosh, almost, it'll be two years in April. Uh, since I started this channel, um, this is something I have considered is starting a uh, role play. Um, I love watching role play and, um, and I didn't ever really think it was for me, but, um, you know, it's a brand new fresh year. So I'm going to break out of the box and I'm going to try something completely different, but I really, 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 um, a request that you comment down below what you think. Is this, you know, you as my dolly friends who follow my channel, is this something you think you'll be interested in watching? You know, um, me basically um, going about the day as a new adoptive mother um, 
you know, not just in the nursery, but around the house, you know, as I'm going about my business, um, doing chores and, and that type of thing, if you would have any interest in um, seeing role play. And I don't know, maybe I'm completely <laughs> way off in left field. Maybe this, it's not something you're interested in at all, but um, you know, I was, I, I was a, a, a bio mom and then I was a foster mom and now I'm an adoptive, um, you know, a grandparent and, uh, I desperately miss, um, you know, getting babies up from naps and putting babies down for naps and bottle feeding and making formula and, um, and I think that this might be a very, you know, very relaxing, um, fun thing for me to get involved in. Anyway, okay, so I am just going to take you, I'm going to take you over to their little, um, nook area that I have been working on all day <laughs> since I got up this morning because here's the thing, you guys, the way I had my nursery set up, it wasn't really set up, you know, to highlight just two babies. So I'm just going to show you over here. Um, like I said, I've got not got the lights on because um, the, because the two babies are sleeping and I've just draped a muslin over their baskets. But I just wanted to show you I've got the fireplace on. This nursery is so, it's so cozy, you guys. It's just, it's, it's such a cozy, beautiful place to spend time. And uh, with Christmas being so busy and so much cooking and so much eating and so much cleaning up, I really missed my nursery. And I, I pretty much spent all day in here other than to do, you know, chores with the animals. I just, um, you know, did my chores and ran back up here. <laughs> so, and here's Zola. Zola's sitting in her comfy chair and she's holding her Christmas bunny. But I will show that to you when um, we've got some good light. Okay, so basically what I have done is I've created this little area for these uh, little adopted babies. Now these babies are, are five months old and they're twins. So that might give you a hint on who I'm going to be role playing with. Um, so I still have a lot of shopping to do. I need diapers. I need formula, I need bottles, um, you know, all the all the stuff you need for, oh gosh, I remember as a foster mom getting a call, <laughs> you know, getting a call at uh, early in the morning and having to fly out and get formula and buy car, two car seats and, oh, crazy. So this is a little easier <laughs> being as they're not, um, you know, living, breathing, um, twins. I'm not having to run out and buy two car seats like ASAP, but I do need things. So I have put, um, they are in Moses baskets, um, because they like to be close to each other, of course, because they're twins. So I've kind of created this little, you know, I have this little nook in my nursery, um, so I've kind of created this little nook just for them. Um, I've got a little basket over there with their, you know, hair products and burp cloths and bibs, everything I need for feeding. Um, I'll be setting up the ensuite bathroom with, you know, their, their supplies for bathing and hair washing and, um, you know, preparing formula, that type of thing. So that's kind of what I've done. So that meant that... Um, the rest of the gang had to kind of move out of that nook area and uh, I wasn't really sure how they were going to feel about it, um, being moved to a new space. But you know what? I've got a whole bunch of babies in this, um, in this bassinet and they're really enjoying themselves. Um, they're, you know, they've been chatting and cuddling all day, so... Um, you know, kind of combining more babies, um, in, in the bassinet and some of er other areas of the nursery, um, has actually worked out okay. 
um, like I've got all three of my silicones over here in this big Moses basket and uh, they're, they don't seem to be minding it at all. I didn't know that the three would fit in here, but they actually do. And then of course, there's all my cabbie girls hanging out. So, oh, so much, so much to share with you guys. So, so much to share with you. So I have these, um, these, you know, gifts here that I, um, that have been here for a couple of days because I was actually away for New Year's. Um, my family and I were away, so um, these gifts have been here waiting to be opened. And this one in the purple, see the purple wrap? I have been so excited to open. And, oh, I should probably show you my address, but whatever. Um, Anyway, this is, this parcel is from a company called littleesca.com and um, they are on, um, oh gosh, now watch, it's going to escape my brain. Um, they're on Etsy. It is a Canadian-based company on Etsy and... This is a gift to me, and this is this this is what makes it really bizarre. Um, this is a gift to me from a very dear friend of mine um, who is not in the hobby. Um, she's not on you know YouTube. She she is um, she is on Facebook. She does have Facebook. Um, you know that she's very she's actually an artist. She's a she's a felting artist, and she makes custom felt. Um, well, one year she made a custom felt dog that's a perfect replica of my mom's dog. Um, and that's what she does. She makes them for people all over the world. She kind of specializes in dragons. Anyway, she, um, told me that she, you know, even though she's not into dolls at all, um, but she's always been very supportive of my, I mean, we've, we were friends for, we've been your friends for years. Like we used to, um, you know, breed and show uh, pedigree rabbits together. And so we've been very close for many, many years. And when I got into the dolls, she was very understanding of it because she herself is an artist and she makes, you know, essentially plush um, art. So she gets it, you know. Anyway, she told me she was sending me uh, a gift for my channel. And um I think she watches the odd video. I think mostly when I do tours of, you know, around the farm and stuff. Because she lives some distance away from me. Anyway, she told me she had ordered a custom um, gift for me for my, for my channel. To, I guess, use on my channel. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited, you guys! Okay, so this is the, it. This is a Canadian. It's a. It's a. You know, a small Canadian business. So if you like this item, um, by all means, hit them up, because um, we appreciate our customers taking the time to leave us a review. Each review is entered into a monthly draw for twenty five dollar gift card. Oh well. Well, I certainly uh, would leave a review regardless. So this is the company. Thank you, it says. And this is, oh, <laughs> I just saw you guys. I just saw what this is. Oh, I hope I don't cry. Please excuse me if I cry. Because, you know, this is such a big thing, you guys, because this friend of mine, she's, she's not in the hobby and I know she actually finds the dolls uh, a little creepy. <laughs> Mind you, she does some really weird um, felting creatures that I find kind of creepy. So, you know, I guess we're even. But, oh, my goodness. Great. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You guys, look. Look at Oh, my God. Gosh, I love it. I absolutely love, love, love it. Look at what it says. 
and it's a deer. You guys know I'm always saying, oh, there goes the deer. Oh, it goes the deer. I mean, I look out the nursery room window and see a whole bunch of deer running across the front lawn. Look, oh, look at this. It's got little spots. It's a beautiful, fawn, you know, like a fawn color. It's got little spots. So it's supposed to be a fawn, obviously. Um, a little buck because it's got little tiny antlers. Oh, look how cute though. And I love, I love the writing. And look at, there's a zipper on the bum here. And I'm not really sure what that's all about. What is that all about? Oh. Oh, that must be so that you can, oh, I see. Oh, isn't that cool? It's like a pill, you know, like if you want to wash it. That is really cool because, you know, I have Layla jumping on and off the bed and um, should she ever get it mucked up, I can wash it. But isn't that so gorgeous, you guys? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. My sweet Tammy, thank you so, so much. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. And you know where it's going to be? It's going to be right here on the bed in every single video. I'll show you guys. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. I love the color of the writing. It's like a chocolate brown. It just goes so well. Oh. And I mean, a deer, I mean, you would think, oh, a bunny, of course, because, you know, my bunny obsession. But I mean, a deer is perfect for the country cottage because there's deer running across my yard every day. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here, I'm just going to show you um, this company again. If you have a channel. Um, and you think that you would like to maybe get one of these. I have no idea what they cost. You can go on Etsy and check them out. It's a Canadian company. So if you're in the U.S., their prices would be much more reasonable. But that is the company that created this beautiful piece of art. And it's so perfect. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. As soon as I'm done this video, I will be um, FaceTiming her and showing her um, how gorgeous this looks on, on the bed here in the nursery. Oh my gosh. And talk about fun for, you know, doing photos and oh my goodness sakes. Thank you so much, Tammy. Thank you so, so much. Okay, we have another parcel, and this parcel has a story to it. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to put this in a nutshell because uh, this is kind of a long story. So you guys know I have my mom, who is my best friend, um, my bestest friend on the face of the earth, she, um, I gifted her a reborn a couple of years ago. Um, I gifted her the Romy Sculpt by Sandy Faber. Um, she was my Holly. And, um, wow, this is really sealed good. And she really enjoyed her. She dressed her, she, you know, she dressed her up and photographed her for my lady's Facebook group. And, um, but we got talking and she she just wants the one baby. You know, she didn't she didn't want a whole bunch. She just wanted one to just spoil. And we got talking about it and we decided if she was going to just have one baby, she wanted to have a custom that looked, you know, exactly like um you know, just exactly how she wanted it to look. You know, if you're only going to have one baby, um, you might as well have the, the perfect baby for you, right? So, anyway, we chose an artist. Um, she, you know, custom... Oh, my gosh, this box smells so good. Um, we chose an artist. She chose the... Well, first she chose the sculpt. Then she chose the artist. And she, um, you know, 
paid her money and she really um, chose, you know, a very high-end artist and a very expensive sculpt and, it, you know, let's cut to the chase. She spent a lot of money, a lot in my opinion, personally just my opinion, um, on this baby because she was a toddler and the artist is very well known and just beautiful, beautiful work and she's expensive and she's worth it. Anyway, um, we did a box opening, actually, of this baby. Here, I'm going to just take a quick drink of my iced coffee. We did a box opening on my channel. Something really, really awful happened, you guys. No fault of the artist, of course. 100% fault of the um, company that she chose to ship with, which she would never had a problem. Anyway, um, the doll got damaged. Um, like badly damaged and we didn't realize the damage until after we'd done the box opening and my mom took the doll home and she was playing you know she was changing her on her bed and she became aware of the damage and anyway to make a very long story short she um we were just so heartbroken because you know we'd been waiting a couple of months for this doll she was so excited my mom's 80 years old I mean um you know, this, this, and this was our first custom reborn. So really big deal. Anyway, my dear friend, Jenny, and you guys know, I talk about my dear friend, Jenny, all the time. Um, most beautiful heart you can imagine. Um, at Christmas time, she gifted my mom a absolutely beautiful reborn. Just <laughs> out of the blue, just gifted her where, you know, she had posted this baby for sale on our doll group. My mom's also a part of our doll group. And my mom said that she um, really liked the doll and would like to purchase her. And Jenny said, no, I would like to gift her to you because she felt so bad about what, ha what happened with my mom's custom doll. And we had to ship it back. Like her custom doll had to go back, had to actually go to the um, to UPS for evidence because the artist started a claim. A damage claim with UPS because the doll of course was insured anyway she gifted my mom an absolutely gorgeous doll which I will do a video of when I'm over visiting my mom and this box um she sent her you know just in a beautiful outfit with a whole bunch of beautiful outfits with her but Jenny being Jenny um her heart is so big and so kind that she has sent more goodies for my mom's doll and uh and this is what this is she wanted to send her some more goodies for her new doll and my mom actually named her new baby um jenny baby jenny <laughs> so um oh gosh look at this oh look at this she sent a gorgeous blanket Look at this gorgeous blanket she sent. Oh my gosh. So this is for baby Jenny. So I will be taking this over. My mom said I could open the box for her. But oh, look how pretty this is. It's got like red apples and all kinds of different beautiful flowers. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blanket. Oh, so thoughtful. And when I, um, when I, oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, look what she sent her. Oh, she sent her a matching lovey. Oh my gosh, this is so darn cute. Oh, Jen. Blanket and Beyond is the name of the company. So she sent a blanket and a lovey. Look how thoughtful my gosh okay let's see what else is in here oh my goodness gracious look at this she sent her a Nicole Miller outfit look how beautiful that is it's dusty rose that beautiful dusty rose oh my gosh this is so gorgeous it's, oh, the bodice is uh, like overlaid with this beautiful, beautiful lace. And then it's got like a tutu. 
it's like a onesie. Look at how beautiful that is. Ivory lace laid over gorgeous floral. Oh my gosh, look at all the chiffon though, you guys. Look at that. That is so beautiful. And look at there's a matching headband. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, she's going to look so gorgeous in that. And what else has she sent? Oh, <laughs> here's another Nicole Miller. Look at this. The snuggle is real. Look at that. Ivory with gold writing. A beautiful tutu. My mom loves, uh, you know, frilly frilly things like she's just like myself and Jenny Jenny's the same we're all the same we like our bling and our sparkle and our lace and oh my gosh that's so beautiful thank you so so much dear Jenny thank you oh and look at this she even sent her two really cute diapers this one is mother nature says thank you and here's another one with little bear faces on it Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart on behalf of my mom. You know she'll be, of course, messaging you on Facebook. But oh my goodness gracious, what a beautiful, beautiful, kind gesture. I, on behalf of my mom, I just really appreciate these beautiful gifts. And my dear friend, Tammy. <laughs> I know you're not really into watching my channel, but if you ever choose to watch it, you will be seeing. I've got to think of a name for him. I'm not sure yet. It's definitely a boy because he's got little antlers, little um, spiky antlers. So I'll have to think of a name for him. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below what you think about this whole idea of my adoption and I'm um, starting to do role play on my channel and oh my gosh I have so many exciting things so many exciting I'm going to a doll show in three months I'm going to be taking you guys along I'm going to be buying a baby at a doll oh my gosh I'm so mental I can tell you I'm so excited I'm so so excited oh Anyway, I love you guys. As always, take care.